Detective Wyatt confronts a chilling mystery as he investigates a housemaid's disappearance. Unearth sinister secrets as you navigate through a haunted house where every shadow hides a lurking terror. This is Supernatural. Detective Wyatt, man, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I've been a huge fan of your work, especially that Sakamoto case. What's that sound? Cracked, it was pure genius. Your dedication is legendary. And that's why is that I the dog? you were the right person to reach out to. I've got this strange situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night. Well, Colton, I appreciate the kind words. Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, what's going on? It's about Mrs. Susan, like I mentioned in the evening. The lady helping my pregnant fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. We brought her in because she seemed very lonely. She's practically family, living right next to our house. About a week ago, she disappeared, gone. Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Disappeared for a week? Yeah, that's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual about her behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. It really freaked out Kayla. She went to stay with her parents for a bit. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe it's dementia or something. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Into a detective? Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. Bashka is loud! She can be one noisy little girl sometimes. I understand, Colton. I love dogs. And I'll start an investigation right away. You go be with Kaylee. And about the money, don't worry. You'll find Mrs. Susan. She's been like a grandmother to you two, right? Absolutely, Detective. We don't have much, especially after buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything to us, you know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please, give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. Yeah. I'm worried about her too. Okay, here we are in the game. Up, down, up, down. Dog is loud. Alright, let's check out the clues. Man, it's really coming down out there. Look at this storm. Look at this storm. To open doors, drag the mouse, right stick, the controller. Yeah. Do we have a flashlight? We do have a flashlight. Let's keep the light on. So this vo this game uses um, voice recognition. So the entity in here, you can interact with it and it can hear you. Mouse sensitivity is a little fast. Okay, let's go upstairs and see. So we're trying to find what is it? What's her name? Miss Susan. Let's go around here. Miss Susan, where are you, Miss Susan? Uh, the other door is locked. Oh, we can move a little faster. Move the camera to find a clue. To examine it, hold down the zoom button. Keep in mind that there may be more than one clue in a viewpoint. Ultrasound of a child. Yeah, probably the client's fiance. But why is it written here? How long do I have to wait? That's a great question. How long do you have to wait? Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything in this room. Or 
number is there? I'm just not looking. We already examined that. What's this? That's the same thing. Okay. Let's keep going around here. See what else we have. Let's check this room. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me take this latch. in the closet a single developer created this this is pretty good uh oh uh oh what is that was that the... Is that the nun? What's her name again? Miss Susan? Mrs. Susan? Mrs. Susan? Where are you, Mrs. Susan? What's that sound? Noise. Where's that coming from? It's like a hurricane outside. It's pretty bad. Uh oh. We're in the room. Where's the light switch? Mrs. Susan? Not now. Weird symbol. I wonder if it could relate to the case. Yes, it can. And it is a part of the case, I'm pretty sure. There are these toys laying around here. I can't interact with them. That's a four. Wait, I wonder if they all have numbers on them. Let's see. I don't have a number on it. It does. Three. Okay. So I'm going to have to start writing some stuff down here. What else? What else? Hey. What's up with the light? Shit. What's happening, man? This is starting to bug me out already. Hey. Has a eight. Okay. Dog still sleeping. I just left the trash in here. <laughs> really burnt carburetors. Like something's been burning here. Yep, that's exactly what it looks like. Crispy. Here's another toy. This one does. Oh, shit. Turn off the lights. Leave the lights on, man. I don't do the dark. Okay. I'm, 
I'm just gonna stay in the bathroom. It's well lit in here. Where's the sound coming from? Can't do anything electrical box. I guess we gotta go back upstairs? I thought there was a basement. Did I get all the clues? A ton of women's laundry. Where are all the clues at? Uh, wait. in here. Did I get this number? Alright, this one doesn't have a number. Alright, so I got 43681. What's the code now? Where do we use that? Okay. What's that sound? Hear something. What's that? Is that a computer? That's a computer. No way. If I have to chase down the password for another two hours again, I'm out. Subtitle's kind of big. Hey Kelly, if you forget your computer password for the hundredth time, I've scattered your toys. Oh, this thing is loud. I've scattered your toys around the house and I've labeled the boxes with your login and password. First is the chicken ski, then the cow ski, followed by the rabbit ski. Penumulate the login is the shark ski, and lastly the cat ski. The password starts with the fish key ski, then the teddy ski, and the ro robot ski. Second to last is the cool ski, and finally a clown ski. Have a s have a blast, sweetheart. What? Okay. So, how do we turn this thing off? First of all, let's. This is messing with me. Okay, I'm done. Oh! <sighs> okay. Can we turn this off, please? Okay. How do we turn off that thing? Oh, 
Show yourself. Where's that? Where's that lady at? Turn off this freaking light. Did the power go out? Hello. This is an automated message from Pulse Grainer Bank. We regret to inform you that your mortgage payment for the property is currently overdue for $95,331. Please be advised that it is imperative to settle this outstanding payment as soon as possible to avoid any further complications. Your prompt attention to this matter is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your mortgage payment, please do not hesitate to contact our customer service department. Thank you for your cooperation. He wasn't lying about their financial situation. Oh shoot. What did I do? Shoot, well, while I'm in it, let me change my subtitles because subtitles are large. Katsky. Caddis 3. This is the Cool ski. Cool ski is one. This one is the. They say chicken. Chicken ski is eight. What do we have in here? There's a box here. This one is the shark ski, it looks like. Shark ski. Six. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is where we came from. Oh, I've been in there. I'm trying to figure this thing out. Do we have any down here? Okay, here's one. This is the clown ski what's the number on this see the bright the light is so bright is that five I think that's a five there was one over here in the kitchen what is this oh they don't dude you need to get up seriously it's the teddy ski Teddy Ski doesn't have a number. Oh, it does. It's seven. Teddy is seven. Where's the light up here? Oh, this one. Oh, snap. Pump that. Pump that. I need to turn all these lights on. There she is again. Oh, she's driving me crazy. Is there any, here's one right here. Kowski. Kowski does it a nine. So we have eight, nine, two. Let's try eight. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Cause this thing is driving me crazy. Uh, chicken cow rabbit. <gasps> mm. Eight nine two six three. Eight nine two six three. And the password zero seven four one five. There we go. We're in. Babe, is Kaylee home? Have you fixed her cam yet? I was thinking we could have a little, you know, hour time while she's away. Oh, hey, Bella. Yeah. Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? You sound a bit off, babe. Is everything okay? I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. Just a bit tired. You know, 
It's been a hectic day. Tired, huh? You sure? You sound like something's up. I was really hoping you'd come over. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, it's just not a good night and I need to take it easy. Can we catch up some other time? Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? You had plans and now you're backing out? Bill, it's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go. I catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. You know, this kind of reminds me... So in the last um, Sakamoto case, it turned out that the father was the one who unalived his daughter. And now it's starting to look like this guy unalived his nanny, the housemaid. That's what it's starting to look like. Okay. Where to next? Switch cameras with previous and next buttons. Use the night vision with the night vision button. Okay, um, we're in the kitchen. There's a night vision. How do we switch? Oh, there we go. Okay. <gasps> oh no, oh no, 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 no. Is she still behind me? She's, she's, she's still behind me. Let's get out of here, get out of here. The dog got up. I hear the dog. I hear the dog. Oh, the phrases. The lights are all off. The lights, okay. Thought they weren't working. This is Susan. Susan, oh, she's right there. She's right there. Dog, is, she, is he in here? There he is. What's up, dog? I got a dog name. You can use the internet browser on the computer to search for text clues you found. Crawler, crawler, crawler. Draw. Crawler. What the heck does that all mean? The child victim? God, please no. Oh jeez. What do you want? Susan? She keeps turning off the freaking lights. Mm. I wanna go in there. back to the computer and check on this crawler crawler thing because I don't know exactly what that means apparently we can use Google in this game so let's check it out let's see what we got First, 
Let me check on these cameras real quick. All's normal. Good. No paranormal activities. We're good. We're good. Okay. Let's check the web. Let's type in Gibble. <laughs> um, crawler. Oh, here we go. Remembering Miss Susan Crawler, a tragic loss sparks a community reflection on mental health. On July 15, 2020, the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania was rocked by a tragedy that left the, its residents in a shock and mourning. 82-year-old Miss Susan Crawler, a beloved member of the community, had taken her own life by hanging herself from a tree in her backyard. The news of her passing spread quickly throughout the town, with many struggling to come to terms with the loss of such a cherished member of their community. Miss Crawler was known for her kind heart and generosity towards others. She volunteered at a local senior center where she spent countless hours knitting blankets and scarves for those in need. Her neighbors described her as a gentle soul who always had a smile on her face and a warm greeting for everyone she encountered. However, despite her outgoing personality and dedication to helping others, Miss Crawler struggled with depression and anxiety for much of her life. She had been receiving treatment for these conditions, but it seems that even with therapy and medication, she could not find peace with her within herself. In the days following her death, the town came together to honor Miss Crawler's memory. A memorial service was held at the local church where dozens of people gathered to pay tribute to her. Many spoke of how much she meant to them and how her impact would f be felt years to come. Two years later, the wounds of Miss Crawlers are still raw in the hearts of those who knew her best. While there is no easy answer as to why someone would want to take their own life, it is clear that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of age or circumstance. It is hoped that through Miss Crowler tragic passing, more attention will be brought to the importance of mental health awareness and resources. Jeez. It's pretty, pretty tough. Where's she at? Bless me, we're good. Do I got our afro? Why does my head look like that? Okay. This crawler, she had some serious struggles. What's that sound now? I hear something. What the heck is that sound? Is that a mop? <laughs> oh, we having a flashback. This is a memory. There she is. There she is. <laughs> Jeez, what happened to her? Oh! From now on, microphone detection. Every sound that you make, you can also start communicating with the paranormal entity. Oh, we gotta keep our voice down. We gotta keep our voices down. Where is she? Where is she? This is crazy. Well, okay. So 
go back in here. Close that. What is this? Is that a phone call? Bella. Colton, it's me again. Listen, just stay quiet for a sec, okay? I need to tell you something. So, I did some digging online, and guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago. Three years to be exact. Isn't this crazy? I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why did you see her this whole time? Something is not right here. It's like someone wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something. Unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. So she got freaked out by... Huh.
one.
nurtured your flawless beauty tenderly annoyed anointing your skin with fragrant exile your own moisturized hand it sounds like the, the bathroom Sounds like the bathroom. There are no bathrooms upstairs though. The bathroom or the bedroom. Sure, sure, sure. Let's check up here. It's either up here. Or. Or the bathroom downstairs.
wants to say Holton. You can use the internet to browse Holton. Text clues, okay. Okay, what is Holton? In a small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, nestled among the picturesque landscape of rolling hills, there exists a story of extraordinary bravery that has become a beacon of hope and inspiration for the community. This narrative revolves around Sheriff Robert Holton, a man whose courage and selflessness came to define the spirits of heroism in the hearts of Greenfield residents. It was a chilling autumn night in 1982 when the local family was abruptly awakened by a piercing sound of a fire alarm. The source of the disturbance was their neighbor's house, now consumed by the inferno that threatened to devour everything in its path the family trapped inside faced a dare, dire situation with little hope of escape. In the midst of chaos, Sheriff Robert Holton, already renowned for his unwavering dedication to the community, received a distress call. Without a moment's hesitation, he rushed to the scene, not as an observer, but as a rescuer, determined to defy the odds. Upon arrival, Sheriff Holton was met with a scene of sheer terror. The flames roared uncontrollably, painting an, or an orange glow against the darkened night sky. The family, immobilized by fear, were visible through the thick smoke, desperately signaling for help from an upper floor window. Undeterred by the intensity of the blaze, Sheriff Holton swiftly coordinated with the local fire department to create a strategy for the daring rescue. With the flames raging around them, the sheriff and the firefighters work tirelessly to breach the burning structure. As the first responders battled the inferno, Sheriff Holton, equipped with a protective suit, charged into the smoke-filled building. Guided only by the distinct cries of the family, he navigated through the treacherous environment with unparalleled determination. Reaching the upper floor, Sheriff Holton discovered the family huddled together in a room rapidly scrummaging to the encroaching fire. The urgency of the situation amplified as he ushered them towards the window, the only possible exit. Amidst the chaos, Sheriff Holton maintained an air of calm and reassurance, urging the family to trust him as he orchestrated their descent to safety. One by one, he carefully lowered them down with the help of the makeshift rope, ensuring their escape from the clutches of the relentless flame. The heroic rescue concluded with a family safely re reunited on the ground and Sheriff Holton emerged from the inferno unscathed but forever changed. The town of Greenfield hailed him as a true hero and the events of that fateful night solidify his place in the hearts of the community. Now, four decades later, the legacy of Sheriff Robert Holton continues to inspire generation. The heroism displayed on the autumn night has become a symbol of courage, unity, and resilience. Echoing through the quaint streets of Greenfield, a testament to the indomitable spirit of one extraordinary sheriff. Wow, it's a great story. Where's the jump scare? I was a jump scare after a read. Oh, there's a. What's that sound? Someone had.
Just conducting an investigation. Detective, you say? What brings you to this house, making all this ruckus? Folks around here can't get a moment's peace. My apologies, Sheriff. I'm here on behalf of the new residents, who requested an investigation into the disappearance of Mrs. Susan, the former occupant of this house. Mrs. Susan? Bless her soul. She passed away three years ago. Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? Well, Sheriff, sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned, and they just want some closure. Closure? Huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? Ah, yes, I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy at times. I'm just trying to leave no stone unturned, you know? I suppose I understand. Does... But if you don't mind me asking, why now? Why all this fuss over Mrs. Susan after all these years? It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. Right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right then. I'll leave you to it, Detective. But try to keep it down, will you? Don't need the whole town up in our... What? How do you hear me over the storm? Say anything.
got some more. Okay. There are a bunch of them that I'm missing. Not say anything.
Is this not on? Oh shit. This time, I won't let anyone escape. Where's this dude at? Is that the neighbor? That and her sorry excuse for her family got what's been coming to him. You hear? Where's he at? You reckon I wouldn't figure it out? I'm gonna win all the money. No more running. Let's get this over with. As soon as I get you, burn this. This fucker house will give you and all the evidence inside. I die. I die. Killer? In a stunning revelation, Detective Wyatt unraveled the dark truth behind the tragic death of Miss Susan and her husband. The culprit was none other than the revered Sheriff Robert Holton, a man of authority and respect in the community. Jealousy had consumed him when Mrs. Susan, Miss Susan chose another over him, leading him to commit the a heinous act of vengeance. Sheriff Holton's manipulation of local news painting him as a hero disguising his own sinister deeds he orchestrated a fire that engulfed miss susan's home while her family sat down to supper ruthlessly ending their lives but it wasn't enough he went further concocting a false narrative of heroism to cover his tracks miss susan 
far from taking her own life, as the fabricator report suggested, was found to have been pregnant when the coroner examined her body. The extent of Sheriff's Holton depravity knew no bounds. Yet, in the face of such darkness, Detective Wyatt emerged as a beacon of truth and justice. With unwavering determination, he pieced together the evidence, unmasking Sheriff Holton, vile acts, and bring him, bringing him to justice. When the police arrive at the scene, White stood amidst the tears of a hero in the midst of tragedy. Despite the pain and sorrow, his resolve remained unbroken, a testament to his commitment to seeking out the truth no matter how dark and daunting the path may be. Wow. It's crazy. Jealousy is something that I think we all will experience in our lifetime. And learning how to deal with it in a healthy way is equally as important as going through it. I feel that jealousy builds you up emotionally and learning how to deal with your emotions is a part of that as well. Well, at least it wasn't the homeowner that was the culprit, um, but also wasn't expecting the sheriff to, to have done such a heinous thing. Anyway, that's it for Supernatural. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm uh, still doing a free t-shirt giveaway, so just comment on as many videos as you like. The drawing will be in the next DSM-5 next month, so just comment down below on as many videos, and you're automatically entered into winning that contest. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video again, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care. Peace.